Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today, I do hope you're well. And we are starting another new game today. It's around Christmas time as I'm recording this, so I'm trying out lots of new games. It's that time of year, isn't it, when I want to do some new, new fun things. So this is a game that I found on Steam, and it looks very interesting. It's a city builder with a bit of a twist. It's called Before We Leave. Um, I'm not entirely sure um, what the aim of the game is. I've not really done a lot of research into it. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, the basic premise of it is that it's set in the future when all um, all your all your people have been buried underground for years because of some global disaster, and now they're just starting to emerge, and you have to kind of reteach them how to live on the surface of the planet. Essentially, that's uh, I think that's the basic setup. So what I'm going to do is I haven't played this yet. I'm going to do the tutorial first and learn a bit about how to actually play the game. Here we go. In bygone times, humanity descended into bunkers to escape a galactic disaster. Only centuries later, when the cause of the calamity was forgotten, did humanity emerge, having lost all but remnants of their past history and knowledge. They begin once again on a planet born anew. Ooh, that looks cool, doesn't it? <coughs> It's finally time. After so long, your peeps have emerged from their underground shelter and are on the surface again. Hold down the right mouse button, blah, 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 blah. Scroll in now. Okay. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Scroll around a bit like that. Okay, established village. Let's get your peeps settled in by building some roads and huts. All buildings must be placed next to an existing road. Once you're done with building, you can right click to cancel the building you have selected. Okie doke. Where do I build? Okay, so we've got, I'm guessing, roads and houses down here. Right, well, that looks like a road already there, doesn't it? So, do you want me to. Oh, it wants me to build three tiles of roads. Okay. Um, I guess. Let's do a little housing estate somewhere. Let's let's do a little housing estate over here. So if I build like that, maybe. Excuse me. Actually, let's do let's do that as well, and then I can build three little houses in the triangle. That look nice. Oh, look at all the little people. Oh, look. So, oh, so this is their little shelter that they come out of underground. And then they come over here and start building. Oh, that was good. Great. While the shelter slowly produces food and water, you'll need more and fast. Okay. Uh, construct two potato fields and construct a well. Oh, look. More people are coming out. And they're bringing materials out as well. Oh, look. This is materials. We've got, what, 14 wood. 10 tools and 2 stone. I'm guessing this is people. Yep. Okay, so we've got a possible 12 workers out of my 3 huts. It's called a bit. Oh, look at all this. <clears throat> um, where does it actually tell me how many people can live in it? Oh, well, it's got 4 people in it. Bonuses, two nearby accommodation equals plus two peep. Oh, okay, so if you build them next to each other, they can hold more people. That's interesting. Oh, it's a good job I built them in a little triangle then, wasn't it? Right, so I need to build two potato fields and a well. Ah, see, this has little bonuses uh, from being next to Bonuses for being next to fields. One nearby field equals plus two potato storage. Bonuses for being next to accommodation. Ah, okay, that's cool. Bonuses for being next to wells. Production speed up by 100. Yeah, it doesn't want to be polluted, obviously. Okay, so it wants to be next to a well and next to houses, ideally. So, maybe if I build them... Ah, yes, of course, they have to be next to a road, don't they? Hmm. Well, I'm guessing that ship's going to be important, so I won't build here. I'll leave that road there to access that, because that's going to do something at some point, isn't it? As is this building here. Um, 
maybe if I do there and there, it's not next to a house then though is it, but no, let's pick one next to a house and one there just next to that, that's fine. This one can have a bonus and this one won't. Uh, but it did say about a bonus next to a well, didn't it? So actually if I build the well there, what does a, a well get? Oh, it doesn't want to be next to houses. That's interesting. Penalties would be next to animal fields. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm not next to animal fields and pollution. Okay, so you can be built in there. That's cool. So my potato field is going to be getting bonuses from being next to the well, logically. Nice. Looks like you can do upgrades as well, although I'm guessing not yet. Yeah, I need to, oh, I need to research stuff. Okay, now you need to build a woodcutter to get wood for your buildings. Yep. Place it near the trees to get wood faster. Does that make sense? Where have I got trees? Quite a few over there. Not so many over here. So maybe if I expand over here somewhere. So let's get a bit more road going, shall we? Let's build a little coastal road here. And then... Let's bring it round there, and then I can build a let's build a, a woodcutter up there. Actually, I didn't need that last bit there. Can I destroy stuff? That looks like a demolish. There we go. Demolish that bit. Nice. Well, I like the look of it. The graphics are pretty funky, and I like I like that it's on like a big round world. Oh, look at that! You can zoom right out. Oh wow! Look at that. That's great. That is a interesting bit of zooming you can do. <clears throat> now your peeps need help relearning the ways of their ancestors to survive. Build an explorer's hut to gather items from heaps of ancient technology and build a library to help them learn and remember. Okay. I'm guessing that's what... Like these... Oh no, that's a transmogrifier, whatever that is. What have we got here? Ancient technology. Okay. That looks cool, doesn't it? Right, what did it want me to build? A library... And research. Oh, an um, explorer's hut. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Let's get them um, over here somewhere. I guess it makes sense. Maybe right next door to the thing it's going to be researching. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And then the library next door to that. Let's do that. Oh no, you've run out of stone. Oh, now the library needs more. Let's fix that. Okay. Use the demolish tool to break up some boulders into usable stone. Select the demolish tool and click the boulders. Okie doke, I can do that. Right, where's this stone? Ah, it's these little piles. Okie doke, that's fine. Let's demolish a couple of them. Great. That's got you the stone you need. You can also demolish forests that are in your way, but unlike trees that woodcutters cut down, forests that you demolish won't grow back. Try to demolish as few as you can to make space for building. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. So my little peeps come along. I'm guessing this one here. Oh no, she's a woodcutter by the looks of it. Or is she? No, she's going for the stone. Hack, hack, hack. And the stone is gone. Okay, that's cool. So what is this thing? A ruined generator. I'm guessing maybe we rebuild it at some point. What was this one? A ruined ship? Yeah, I'm guessing all these ruins we, we use at some point and, and maybe sort of rebuild stuff. What have we got up on here? A mountain. Yeah, well that's not a mountain, that's a ruin of some sort, surely. A rusting hulk. Maybe this gives us scrap metal or something. Is that more stone? Yeah, more boulders up there. Cool, okay. Well, so what are we doing? We've got six stone. Oh, so our library is now getting built. How does that look? Well, that's nice. It slowly just gets built, doesn't it? That looks good. Uh, now that your village is set up, it's time to think about a bigger goal. Exploring the world on a ship. Ah, maybe this is when we're going to rebuild that ship over there. You're going to need more tools to build your ship, amongst other things. There's an ancient metal device nearby that, according to legend, can turn one thing into another. That's helpful, isn't it? Okay. Well, it is called a transmogrifier, so that makes sense. Uh, it's not beside road. Okay, so do I need to build a road to it then? I can do that. Uh, and you need one square. There we go. 
Now it's next to a road. Oh, action! Uses 15 bits of wood. Wow, that's quite a lot of wood to make five tools. Okay, well I don't have 15 wood. Maybe I should build another woodcutter. Let's have a look at doing that. Um, no, where's the woodcutter? There we go. What does this need? That needs two tools as well, so... Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's get another woodcutter. I might need more houses, actually. I'm not sure how that... How the peeps work. I've got three idle workers actually. How many do you need in one of these? You need two. Okay, so I'm okay at the moment, but I probably need to get some more huts. I guess I can do that now. What do these need? These need two wood each. I might as well get them built. Let's get three more huts. I'll get them built now, um, or, or going now at least. Hopefully I've got my two workers. Yes, so I've got two workers in there, that's good. I'm guessing that's just alerting me that they haven't got the resources they need, but that's fine. I like this, how they're, the, the, as they're getting built they kind of phase in, don't they? They look good actually, I like these, um, I like these graphics on the, the buildings. I think the peeps maybe could do with a bit of work, there's not a lot of animation going on. I'm actually not sure if this is an early access game or not, or whether it's a final product. I should have checked that really, I didn't uh, really pay much attention, but I'm guessing maybe early access. Right, learning ancient knowledge, it's time to hit the books. Now that your peeps have access to that library you just built, they'll need to research how to gather stone and other mineral minerals. They can't repair the ship without them, okay. First you should check out the game speed controls, up in the top, blah blah blah, yeah, fine, I'll do that, pause, speed up, speed up, speed up. Stone is an important resource and needs to be mined from the mountains up on top of the highland. But first you need to reach it, research elevators, and then build one against the cliff. Okay, let me just slow the game back down again. So, library, research, yeah. Research. Ooh, look at this. Oh my word, that's a lot of research to be done, isn't it? Blimey. Okay. So what have we got? Elevator. Costs me five. I've got 27. That's good. Okay. I will do that. And then I want to build up onto this cliff here. Uh, let's think. Quite on a road. And if I build a, an elevator... The, oh no, because that's sort of trapped in there then, actually. That's no good, is it? Maybe I'll build it up in this one. Then it can access all of this up here. I'm going to need two because it's blocked off, so I can't get to this side and this side with one lift. That's a shame. When placing your elevator, you want to put it somewhere that will give you access to a decent amount of space on the highland. And will also give you access to the mountains and rusty hulks up on top. Also, even elevators need to construct an extra row. Yeah, that's fine. So I reckon I'm going to build it in this little gap here. So I need to build a road coming like that. Elevator. Building. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. I guess I want it there. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Right, all my huts are built. Look, I've got 22 people now. Not enough peeps available. What are you on about? I've got 12 idle workers. I need some more tools, actually. So let's get one of these little tool transmogrifications going. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know why keeps going red. I've got idle people all over the place. I can build another explorer's hut. Oh look, they've they've depleted that research stuff. That's my explorer's hut. Where are they going now? That is to go over here. Oh, she's watching me. That's a bit freaky, isn't it? Now that you can reach the highlands, you need to work out how to get your peeps to mine that stone. Transmogrifier is harder work. Yeah, my 
explorers don't seem to be doing much. I wonder if you have to tell them where to go. Oh no, look. Oh look at that, it shows you their route. That's, that's pretty nifty, isn't it? Oh that's fine then, my explorers are still going off exploring, that's good. Right, sorry, I needed to research something, didn't I? Mining, that's it. There we go, research mining. I've got my little lift in now, that looks that looks good, doesn't it? I do like the graphics. Yeah. It's a very quaint looking game, isn't it? I don't know how I know if I'm making enough food. Show food and drink resources. Well, I've got 34 potatoes. Ah, available. 34, 33 of 26. Allocated 27. Ah, so supply, demand. Oh no, so I need more potato fields, I think. Like water. Supply demand. Oh dear. Does that mean I need more? I'm not too sure what all these numbers mean. It looks a little bit complicated to me. But purely the supply and demand suggests that I'm not making enough. Let's have a look at that. Maybe I need another well, do I? How about if I do another... Another well out here. Time to build your stone quarry. The quarry must be placed next to a mountain and also next to a road. So you may need to construct a road. Yeah, that's fine. The quarry is also a building that pollutes its local area. Pollution affects how happy your peeps are. Yeah, I don't, don't blame them for that. Nobody wants to be next to uh, next to pollution, do they? Right. No, I don't want to build it there because that's um, it's going to block the rest of the route. So I guess build maybe bring a road in here. That way I can get to these boulders here for some stone as well. And then I can build my quarry there. So that's going to mine from, what was it? Was it the rusting hulk, wasn't it? Extra road and mountain. Well, this this whole thing is a mountain. So does it not mean that I'm using these? It's just digging out of the actual rock underneath it, is it? Okay, that's interesting. Right, if I do a quick demolish up on here, maybe these boulders. Give me some stone. The forest will slowly remove pollution from towns next to them. Okay. Oh look, people are using the little lift. That's that's nice. Isn't it? Up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Demolished that lot already. That's good. Right now, what was I looking at doing? Oh yes, water. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Supply is now higher than demand. Potatoes, on the other hand, I do feel like I need more. Uh, now that your peeps are mining stone, you're well on your way to setting sail and discovering unseen lands. To find them, you'll need to repair ancient devices to make that old ship on the coast seaworthy. Right, first I just want to work on my uh, my potato fields. Do you know what I might do? I might demolish that. cool I like that Brilliant. and then I might bring the road in here because I'm obviously that that neat that's uh, that ship's gonna need a road going to it which it now has and I want to build another potato field there and they benefit from being next to housing so that's a good spot for a potato field didn't actually look at what that costs two wood okay that's fine So let's see what my production's like once that's built. And somebody's working it, that's good. Well that looks better, doesn't it? Supply is a bit higher than demand. I probably still need another one. Um Look at that, I've got a wasted bit of road there, that doesn't need to be there. Just gives me an extra square. I think it's one of these games where you do have to be very careful with your planning to make sure that you maximise your use of space. So for example here, I've wasted all this coastal land because I can't get a road through. Although, you know what I could do? 
Okay, this is this is a thought. Let's demolish those two areas there. And then if I build a road there, then I can build a potato field there and there. There we go. That's that's a much it's a better use of space because you don't want to waste a single square. I know they're hexagons. Uh, but I'm going to say squares just because it rolls off the tongue a bit easier. There we go. So now, hopefully, I know these won't get the bonuses from being next to the houses, but they do get bonuses from being next to each other, don't they? Happy workers. Nearby accommodation. Nearby potato field, yeah. Cool, there we go. Let's see what we're looking at now. Oh, no, our supply is still down, although I'm guessing they aren't quite producing properly yet. It's fine, I'll keep an eye on that. Right, it wanted me to do some more research, I think. Repair. Let's repair stuff. Do I need to transmogrify stuff? Probably, yes. I'm a little bit low on tools, so let's get some more uh, tools coming in. My lumberjacks seem to be hard at work. I think I've got enough people. Yeah, I've still got plenty of idle workers. Right, how's my food looking now? That's more like it. Supply 18, demand 9. My water is still fairly low. Yeah, there's no benefit. There's no um, no production bonuses. You just get bad things if it's next to certain other things. So That's fine. Uh, right, what am I doing at the moment? Researching repair, yes. Well, that's fine. That's in here. And that's nearly done. How are we looking up on the top here? So this is my quarry. Mine stone. Ah, okay, excellent. Repairing the ship is going to take a lot of peeps and resources. Increase the population of your village to support the work that needs to be done. Okay. I just want to investigate this. Why do I not have anyone working here? The building is shut down. Try solving the production issue. Oh. No storage space. Ah, okay, so I need to build a warehouse. Hmm. Okay, I don't think I can build a warehouse at the moment. Uh, storage and transport. No, at the moment I've still got just a, a lift in there. Never mind, I'm sure it'll tell me about that at some point. Right, what am I doing now? Expand your village to support 25 peeps. Right. Annoyingly, I want to build it right where that woodcutter is because I want to keep the houses together. So let's get rid of the woodcutter and then I will build a new woodcutter further out here in the forest. Um, this tile is already occupied by what? Oh, okay, a forest. Um, no, let's get rid of that because then I can build a road through here. There we go, so I can get a road in there. Let's get a woodcutter there. And let's get a house there. I'm hoping just one house there will be enough to boost me up to 25. How many do these have? These only have three, that has four, that one has three and an empty slot that's got four so yeah plenty of people there we go 28 brilliant and have i got yeah my woodcutter is up and running as well nice wow your peeps are accumulating a lot of stuff let's research a bit of warehouse oh there we go there's our warehouse warehouses require two tiles okay right i need to research there it is warehouse <clears throat> Brilliant. Right, where do I want to build a warehouse? Ooh, this, this bit here looks good, doesn't it? If I bring a road around the back here, get a warehouse down on the coast maybe. Hopefully it'll let me do it like that, if I can build across these two. It is a nice looking game, isn't it? I can see it's going to be one of these with uh, with an awful lot of planning involved. Warehouse research complete. Ah, here we go. Warehouse. 
Oh, it doesn't fit down there. That's annoying. I don't know. I don't know if you can turn it in any way. No, it's it's dictating where I can put it. That's a shame. Oh, that looks okay, doesn't it? All right, let's build it up there. Oh well, I needed that path anyway because it goes to this thing, this ruined generator. I don't know what that is. It's not doing anything yet. I'm assuming we'll get to that eventually. Right, so my warehouse. I've got enough stuff. Yes. Well, I'm going to need more tools soon. So let's get transmogrifying some more wood into tools. I quite like the idea of the. Uh, the transmogrifier is a bit different. In a lot of games you get really bogged down with having to construct all your own tools and things like that. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's actually quite nice sometimes that you, uh, you have an easier way of doing things. Make tools. Right, choose which resources you want to store in a warehouse. Warehouses only have limited space. The more types of resources you store, the less space it is for each type. Yeah. that square there and maybe build another well just to really make sure I've got a lot of water coming in. Three wells for people. Because my oh well yeah my supply is gone. I wonder if that's because it's night time and people aren't working at night. Just notice it's suddenly got dark, I'm guessing that might be that it's night time. Anyway let's look at my warehouse. It's a nice looking building. So where does it tell me? Total of 120, okay. What does it want me to put in here? It's, it's telling me to add these three, so I will do that. So that's all our three main resources. If you're so close to repairing the ship, you'll need a better source of tools than the transmogrifier. Time to find some iron in the highlands. Ah, so okay, so we are going to make our own tools. So there's our iron. What do we do with iron? Research metal work, okay. Go back to our research, and there's metal work. Let's get that researched, and then build an iron mine next to a rusty hulk. Okay, I can do that. I've got a square there I can build on. So what have we got stored now? Oh yeah, look at that. It's filling up already. That's handy, isn't it? Great. Got lots of water coming in as well. It did say I could store water, didn't it? I wonder what your what you can store naturally anyway. Available, allocated. I really don't get what those numbers mean. Supply and demand. I guess the fact that that's green is a good thing, and that's red, and that's a bad thing. Although the supply is still higher than the, than, than the demand there, so. I'm um, not too sure what, what's going on with all these numbers. It's a shame. I wish it would sort of describe to me a bit more. Available. I don't know. Does that mean it can? I can naturally store 70 of it? Or I can? Yeah, I guess so. But then why have I got a certain allocated amount? And then what, oh, I don't know. There's too many numbers there. It needs, it needs to tell me what those numbers mean. Oh look, people are playing music out of the huts. Henry is working with the quarry. Where's Henry? Does not believe in birds. <laughs> I like this. Hang on, let me just pause the game. Look, every time you click on someone, it makes a mean pot of stew. Thinks they're smarter than they really are. Ah, oh, so do they. Okay. That's cool. I like that. They've all, they've all got their own little personalities. Talented at skipping rocks. Oh, that's great. I like little details like that. When the card building requires workers, you can click the little padlock icon underneath the worker slots to lock some of the slots so fewer people work there. Okay, that's handy. Uh, you control to the top, you can change its priority for getting resources and workers for board entirely. Ah, okay, so if I go into. Low priority, normal, high priority, yeah. Next building of type, focus on me, demolish. Okay. 
interesting stuff. Right, I need to build an iron mine next to the rusty hulk. Let's do that. There we go. Let's build that in there. Doesn't take long, does it? People come along pretty quickly to get the building done. I'm guessing that it's just... Let's have a look. So this guy here was... No, this... Let's have a look. This one was doing the building. So what is he classed as? Gary. Never learned to say thank you. That's rude, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know what he's classed as. Ah, so he goes to and from the warehouse. Ah, so is it people in the warehouse that work? Leo and Gary at the warehouse. Ah, so they've taken goods over there. And then who does the building? I'm intrigued by who's doing the building. Here we go, let's just have a look. Who is this? Mikhail, who are you? You're fetching tools, so do you work in a tool place? No, you're doing building. So where do you work? Hmm. To process the iron into tools, you'll need an iron smelter and a toolsmith. There's special buildings that require power. Fortunately, your peeps have found an old generator in town. Yes, they have. I found that already. Repair the ruined generator, then build your iron smelter and toolsmith. You'll need to continue to make tools with a transmog fire until this is all set up. Ah, right. So we have another option down here, industry. So we have a toolsmith and an iron smelter there. But I also need to repair this. Repair, there we go. Well, that's easy. Just takes a couple of resources and some people. Right then, where do I want to build a toolsmith and an ironworks? Yeah, maybe maybe up here. So let's get one in there. And no, let's not get one there. Let's get one here. Because then I can put a road coming out this way. Start potentially moving up into this area at some point. And let's do some more transmogifying. I'm getting quite a lot of wood stored up now, so I might as well turn it into uh, tools. Oh look, this is my generator, so that's working now. A wood generator, so I'm assuming it burns wood, yes. Burns wood and makes power. Great. Right, for a small village, there's a lot happening here. Let's look at what's available to manage your settlement and peeps effectively. Click on the island details button. It's the big green one with the name of the island on it. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of information. This panel has a whole lot of information for you to explore as you need it. Arranged on resources, peeps and buildings. For now, take a look at the peeps tab. Okay. Here you can see every peep living on your island along with the th things like what they're doing and a graph of how happy they are. You can click on the graph to make it bigger. For now, there's more to see. So close the island details panel with the close button on by clicking outside it. Wow, okay. So that tells me who they are and where they're working. That's good. Uh, some of them are idle. That's handy to know. I guess that's what they're doing at the moment. And that's their happiness. Oh look, this is your... When your population over that, your people get something happiness as their expectations increase. Okay. So what else do we have here? Buildings. Well, there's a lot of information going on here. So that's the production rate of each building, I'm guessing. Um, explorer's hut. Yeah, I hope my explorers are still finding stuff to go and find. Oh blimey, look at these graphs. It's very very advanced, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Right. Another thing you can do is view a variety of overlays that show you information directly on the planet. Click on the overlays button. Okay. Uh, overlays. Oh wow, what are these? building types. Let's click on that one first. Oh, okay. Excellent. There's all sorts of information in here about how pollution is spreading across your island. 
how happy your peeps are, how resources are flowing, and more. There are tool tips on all the buttons that give you more information. Okay. Blimey, there's a lot going on. So, houses. Okay, so you can just shrink it down like that. That's fine. What have we got here? Weather. Pollution. Okay, let's have a look at pollution, shall we? Heavy pollution. Pollution. Cleaner is struggling. Cleaner keeping up. Cleaner only. Okay. Do we actually have cleaners then? I guess there must be some sort of... Uh, some sort of, uh, a, you know, someone who goes around and gets rid of pollution, maybe. Uh, what have we got here? Ooh, positive and negative effects. Ah, um, so my tool makers. Happiness effects. Hard work causes negative happiness. And so does that. Okay, so they, I want, probably didn't want to build them there, I guess. Just because they're sort of industrial areas. So maybe industrial areas need to be off to the side somewhere. Uh, occupancy, fully occupied, no occupants or not operating. Okay, so everything seems to be quite fully operating. That's good. What have we got here resource flow. Right, so let's look at potatoes for example. What does that show? Efficient, inefficient, storage. Okay, well, I don't have storage, I know that. Oh, it says they're inefficient. Why are they inefficient? It's complicated this, isn't it? Okay, let's leave that for now. Finally, you can view detailed information about individual resources and how they're allocated in the top bar. Let's take a look. Okay. This is showing you a whole lot of things. Yeah, there's a lot of things to look at, isn't there? A line showing how many of the resource you've got available for use on the island out in the maximum you can store. What? <laughs> a line showing how many of the resources are allocated for use. Oh my god, so much going on here. You can turn on the resource flow and resource storage overlays for this resource. If you click on any of the line graphs, it'll take you to each building on the island that makes it blah blah blah, small slide blah blah blah. Okay, I'm just going to have to fiddle around with all this at some point. So third... Okay, so that's tools available for use. I'm guessing that's my maximum storage. Yes. Okay, well that's fine. None reserved at the moment. None allocated at the moment. Okay. I'm guessing stuff like that I'm not really going to need to worry too much about. Oh, your peeps are becoming unhappy. They're working hard and dealing with pollution from some of your buildings. Unhappy peeps will move and work more slowly. So it's definitely worth keeping their spirits up. As well as looking in the peep details panel you like you just saw, you can also check the happiness of a single peep by clicking on them. Then on the small happiness graph at the bottom of their card. Okay, let's have a look at that. That's their happiness. Well, their happiness seems to be going up at the moment. One way to help your peeps stay happy is to give them better food and drink. Let's plant some vegetables and grow some tea. Oh, nice. Later on, you'll be also be able to grow orchards. But they need different climate to the one this island has. Okay, so I want to grow what? Vegetables and some tea. So I'm going to have to research more stuff. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do before. Let's just pause again there. Uh, before I do that, I am going to bring this episode to an end. I think um, that's a good, good bit of play we've done there in the first bit of the tutorial. There's clearly a lot more I need to learn. But I'm, I'm kind of liking it so far. It's uh, it's quite quirky, isn't it? I, I love the graphics. I love that it's on a round map like this. Um, makes it feel very uh, very three D, doesn't it? Which is nice. Um, Showing the peeps aren't a bit better animated. They don't really do a lot, but there we go. That's um, that's fine. I can live with that. I do like the design aspect. I like having to to think about how you're you're laying out your town. Um, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I'm not sure what the aim of the game is, if you see what I mean. I'm guessing at some point we're going to go off and discover more islands over here. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's call it to an end there and then in the next episode I'll continue with the tutorial and we'll, we'll see what happens next. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll enjoy this series. It's something a bit new, a bit different. Uh, I'm always interested in finding new games to play. So yeah, thank you for joining me. And hopefully you'll uh, you'll join me again in episode two for a bit more.
Uh, until then, take care and I'll see you soon.